Today, we're heading for Brooklyn to try New York's most famous old school pizzeria, Defara. We'll talk to one of the owners about the history, learn all about the ingredients, and I'll be joined by an Italian digital creator and business owner to get her take as well. Does Defara live up to the legend? Watch till the end to find out. All right, guys, there are few pizza places I would dedicate an entire video to. Defara's is one of them, and I am so pumped to try this place for the first time. And I brought along a special guest. Yay! <laughs> this is Chiara, Chiari Lady Boss. I'm Italian born and raised. So it's so exciting to bring John with me today to try Defara, which is one of the best pizza places in Brooklyn and New York City itself. Well, it is time to go inside and talk to some people here. I've been doing it since, since I was a little child. The first pie I made, I was seven years old. He opened up here in um, 1965. He told me the story about he was driving with his, my grandfather, his father, and they passed by Avenue J, and he saw the crowds walking up and down Avenue J, and he said, I I'm gonna open up over there. And my grandfather said, you can, you already put money down on this other place, you gotta do it over there. He said, no, 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 look at this, look at all the people walking around, I'm gonna open over there. Superhuman, he's, I, <laughs> he's like an alien or something, I don't, I don't, He's never, never, he worked on all holidays, Christmas, he, every, everything was about work. It's an old oven, yeah, this is the, this is the original okay. oven. It's been here since 1965 and my father probably bought it used, because he bought everything used back then. So, most of the equipment is from that time zone, 1965 and bought used when we opened up. This register, this is like a relic, we don't use it anymore. We used it for a long time. Whatever is the best is what he would put on the pizza. So if he found something and it's like this is this is best, that's what he would put on the pizza. Well, we use extra virgin olive oil, so high, everything on the pizza is high quality. It's all high quality. It's all imported from Italy. There's so many like really intricate things to make in pizza that people might not realize. Just the way you break the cheese and the way you put it on. We I hand yeah. break the cheese. We don't grate it. We break it. You break it. Yeah, I saw that. And I put it on mm -hmm. a certain way with my hands. It's a little detail that people might. Not realized yeah. and it matters. Little things really do matter. I yeah, mean, even of even in the, of the texture of the sauce, if you put a little too much of a, a of a liquid or something to like you know you know kind of water it down to some degree, it, it, it just a little bit could t take it off what it is. Like it, it all you know every little ounce. Everything's by hand, very rustic. With the way it, you know the old days. As time goes on, these things are changing. And you want to keep the authenticity of certain, certain things. You want things to still remind you of this nostalgic. Do you think someone coming here today who came here 30 years ago would get a similar experience or the same experience on the yeah. pizza? Yeah, they, they, they could also tell. They could tell it's the same. Or, this is, the thing is that we, when, you know, when we lost a lot of the old customers because we started getting a lot of tourists and things, and during the COVID, some of the old people have seen that they can get the pizza a little quicker and easier, and we're getting a lot of the customers back in the day. We have a few from all the way back in the day, but we're seeing a lot more faces. This looks better in person than I thought it would, honestly. Really, it does. I didn't think it would look this nice. It's like a work of art. Look at this, like, beautiful, thin crust. Mm. Oh my goodness, guys, that first bite, like the initial reaction to me was the olive oil and the basil, that combination. That was one of the most memorable first bites of pizza I've ever had in New York City. It was unbelievably good. Like, I, I just can't wait to try to take on the rest of this. What do you think? I can't stop eating. Look at this girl. Look at this girl. <laughs> I really like the taste of the basil. Mm hmm. Again, for me, the thing that keeps standing out is just the amount of olive oil they use. I don't know if I've ever been to a place that used this much olive oil on pizza. You think it, so? it really works. That is really standing out to me. Because they put it on before and they put it on after it comes out as well. That's what I do with mine. That's what you do with yours. Mm. How would you, as an Italian, rank this versus other pizza places in New York City? Immigrants, like Italians that came here a long time ago and started making pizza 
they sometimes change the recipe so throughout the years the taste changes mm -hmm. and it's it, it feels is not authentic anymore in a way or the taste has gone more towards like the American Italian American uh, style yeah I think this is really true to the Italian style um, so it's it's a very very good pizza in my opinion Buonissima. Cosa pensi di questa pizza? Ti sembra italiana? Non entiendo. <laughs> non capisco. Non capisco. Okay. What do you think about this pizza? Do you taste like some Italian in it? Have you been to Italy before? I've been to Italy. You've been to Italy. What, like, what do you think? I would say the freshness of the ingredients here really stands out to me versus a lot of other places in New York City. I mean, the fresh olive oil, the tomato sauce, the, the buffalo mozzarella imported from the town that Dom grew up in. It's just such a, a good combination of ingredients. This is honestly something that I've never had in New York City before. Like there's something unique about this pie. I can't put my finger on it, but that would make me want to come back here again and again. It is truly a unique pie for me. What I love about this place is that even if you came here in the 1970s, you come back here in 2020, you know, the ingredients are just about the same. It's the same oven. It's practically the same experience. And now with all the COVID travel restrictions, you don't have to wait an hour in line to That's try true. some of New York City's best pizza. So guys, I don't know, if you've never been to Defara's, I think now would be an amazing time to come. Yeah, that's true. Guys, we wanted to try a square slice before leaving. We're almost full, so we cut a piece of it. You know, Dom Jr. was saying that some people will fight you to the death about liking the square slice better than the round slice. I've never tried this either. Let's see how it is. Really good. It's really rich and full. And I think that you couldn't eat too many of these in a row. I prefer the round one, but I understand why people like the square one too. So much tomato sauce, that basil, got a good piece of the mozzarella. It's really good. Our friend Chip came with us, he wanted to say something. I mean, this has always been one of my favorite pizzas in New York and me with a group of friends, we actually went to New Haven, Connecticut, which is has three pizza spots that have been raved as like the best in the United States and they've reached like top levels and they're good, don't get me wrong, but they don't top Defaras for me, so. Tom, thank you so much. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the Fara as much as we did. Please come find me. I'm sure John is gonna link all my YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook down below. Okay. <laughs> high, five, high, high five. Out of things to say. High five. Ciao, guys. Ciao. Here we go. Here we go. Thanks for having me, John. Anytime. Guys, all I'm gonna say is eating at Tafara's was a akin to a religious experience. That was absolutely incredible. One of the best slices of pizza I've had in my entire life. No joke. Come to this spot. I insist and come soon. Guys, hope you enjoy. A special shout out to Kiara and my friend Chip for helping us film. Until next time.